All right, you fellas, today we're going to take a look how to displace logo or how to displace anything here in Blender. Okay, so first we're going to start with a plane, press Shift plus A. Let's go to Mesh, select the plane, and I'm going to split the viewport in two. And let's go ahead and switch this up to Shader Editor. I'm going to click on the Z axis here to view it from the top, and I'm also going to activate the Render Mode. Here in the Render Mode, we're going to work in EV. And let's go to the shader editor, click on the new. All right, so here we're gonna delete the principled and press Shift plus A to search for the emission. We're gonna make this emissive. Let's go and connect the emission to the surface. Search for color ramp. And place it next to it. Press Control T. And here I'm gonna go to the color ramp and flip color ramp. Now let's go to the image texture, click on open. And here I'm going to search for the logo that I want to import, click on open image. And of course nothing is happening right now because we didn't connect the color to color at the color ramp. So now as you can see we got the logo active. And I'm going to bring the mapping and the texture coordinate all the way to the left. And let's go and select the image texture node, press shift plus D to duplicate. And I'm going to place it here. So in order to mix this up we're going to go with the mix shader. And here at the second image texture, I'm going to switch this and search for a texture. I'm going to go with this one. By the way, I'm going to leave the link in the description so you can download it for free. And then next, let's search for mix color, the very first one. And we're going to need to place it in between these guys. I also going to need to connect the mapping to the B at the mix color. Okay, so in order to make this work, we're also going to go here and switch this up to mix. And I'm going to customize the factor. Let's go and bring it down. I mean, sorry, bring it up. So it's going to look something like this. Now, I did import a video, so I want to make this to animate. So let's go here to the second image texture. And here we got the frames. And as you can see here, we got the timeline down here. And mine, the ending is 250. So I'm going to set the frames to 250. And also make sure to check the cycling in the auto refresh. Hit play. And pretty much there you go. This is how it displays here in Blender. If you want, you also can add some glow. You can go to the compositing and activate the use nodes. Press Shift plus A, search for glare. Place it. Change up the strakes to blue. And you can go back to the layout. Let's go to the render and make sure to activate the always here. And right now you cannot see anything, but if you go back here to the emission and increase the emission, you can see the glow. So pretty much that's it, and thanks for watching.